love my hair. <laughs> One of these days I'll be inspired to dress up for the, again, you know, if I had um, HD webcam or whatever, I would probably be less daring to not dress up. <laughs> But I know y'all love me the way I am. So yeah. That's really bad. That's pretty, wait. Yeah. I'm not feeling well tonight, so. May as well look the part. Um, I don't mind. Ooh, computer glasses on. When I get, um, my eyes don't do well with computer screens. And really, you know, you're supposed to, everyone's supposed to wear, or, no, not everyone's supposed to wear glasses, but everyone, I think, is, um, suggested to wear glasses. Yeah, so, plus you're supposed to blink every once in a while, because a lot of people have the habit of not blinking when they're staring at a screen, and it's a lot better for your eyes to occasionally blink. You don't want to, like, get into the habit of, like, Blinking non stop, but blinking is good. So, I did not do my pet vlog. This is supposed to be the pet Tuesday pet vlog, um, or pet Tuesday, but I didn't get to do the video that I wanted to do, so I will work on that and hopefully have it up next time because I had a cute idea and I just didn't get to it. I did, how that was weird. I don't pout very well. Um, I did, however, get my laundry done, finally. Uh, so I've been working on that the past few days and brought in the last of it today. Um, I, I usually try to hang my clothes up to dry because, and I said, like I, you know, I mentioned before, it saves money, it saves energy, and it also saves the wear and tear on your clothes by not throwing them into the dryer. Getting them all, you know, partially heated up and stuff. Once in a while it's okay because once in a while it's needed, but um, I try to line dry as much as possible. And I line dry on the Florida port so no one ever gets to see what I have. <laughs> um, a lot of stuff though. Uh, yeah, you guys saw a lot of it, or those of you that saw that video saw a lot of it piled up back in my chair. Um, but yeah, so I will, you know, I've been getting some things accomplished. We are sitting at home with no vehicle because our car is still broke. It's tough. It is, you know. Um, again, when you rely on a car and there's no public transportation that goes through, it's really, really tough. I have library books that are already in the grace period and, you know, I'll end up owing a fee, a fine, but, you know, that's embarrassing. Um, Plus, it's frustrating. We already have to somehow come, come up with a way to fix the car. Then on top of that, I have to pay a library late fee. <laughs> but, you know, I don't want to have to not take out stuff from the library because I'm afraid that I can't get it back. It's just tough times. You know, we all go through them, and it's inevitable. So everybody is, um, um entitled <laughs> to experiencing them once in a while. It's just how you deal with them and that makes a difference and finding ways to get through and finding ways to fix the problem because, you know, things could be um, even more irritating than what they already are, but it's <laughs> pretty irritating right now. Uh, cabin fever. You know, we're already under a small roof and um, we're going to be running out of supplies. Animal food. <laughs> you know, but we will get by and we will figure it out because we, that's just what we do. Um, yeah, one of these days I hope to be beyond this. Again, you know, problems are never guaranteed to not happen, but it's just like, it's like this hole that we've sunk into the past few months, and just gotta work our way out of it. Um, but I was raised with both 
you know, good things and not so good things, and that's good, that's good because it teaches you how to deal. Um, and at the same time, it's not like, you know, I don't have anything to, you know, it's not like I, um, can complain about never having anything good, because I can't do that. It's just not cool when things aren't good. Mm -hmm. But, again, it's, it's important to keep <laughs> keep faith and to keep a better outlook, because that will just make things better. You know, having a bad outlook makes things all the more worse, doesn't help any, um, even if it's uh, legit or, um, you know, even if you have the right to have a less than good outlook on things, it really doesn't help any. Uh, yeah, but it, it's frustrating right now, you know, I don't want to downplay that because it is. And so that's that. But <laughs> that's not my excuse why I didn't get a pet vlog done today. I just didn't. I meant to, but then I just got caught up with other things, you know, dealing with other things. And um, actually, I was watching The Voice. I was watching TV tonight. And then after that, I watched The Duggars. Um, so that's at least good. I was able to see that. So made me a little bit happy. The Duggars usually always make me happy. I love that family. Yeah. So, um, I think that was it. Sissy is in my window seal, my cat, and she was like trying to cough up a hairball, so that wasn't cool. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't happen. I uh, hope she's feeling better. Poor little girl. Um, she's my eight year old. She, I, think, I think she's eight. Her and Junior are, are the same age, and I've lost track already how old they are, too. It's weird, because they both seem like babies still, but they're aging. Um, Chico's doing okay. He's, he hasn't been looking too... Him and Bart both. Bart's been not keeping down food. Chico's been acting lethargic, but, you know, just gotta deal with that, too, and take it one moment at a time, as with everything else, even though, you know, <laughs> even with things that are, are frustrating, and when things do get frustrating, it's important to take a step back and to realize the, the other things that's going on, too, and to realize the good things that's going on, and to also to realize, and also to realize the, the other things that might need your attention before they get <laughs> super frustrating as well. Um, but yeah, okay, so... That's that. I didn't mean to lecture again. It wasn't really a lecture. It was just kind of a um, personal insight. So uh, I hope everybody is having a good week thus far and keep having a good week. Even though today being 9-11 was kind of a, well not kind of, but you know, it's, it's always a downer type of day. But tomorrow is hump day. <laughs> and have a good hump day. All right.